Real quick though, before we get into this, if you know, then you know. It's so good. Okay, it's obvious I'm not shy to technology. From camera gear to MacBooks, so many different keyboards that I can't even hold every single one in my hands. And so many different crazy things spread out through this entire room. So when it comes to gaming and tech, I know what I'm talking about, or I would like to say I do. And this, this is something different, something new. And I don't think there's anything quite like it. These glasses right here are quite literally the future of technology. These glasses on my face are pretty much a 200 inch screen. That is so hard to comprehend. But let me say one thing for sure, this is going to change everything. From having productivity setups and gaming setups my entire life, I've always desired having multiple screens. Whether it's one or two, and now we're up to this crazy three monitor gaming setup, it's a dream I've always had. But it's expensive and you need a certain computer to be able to process all of these monitors until now. First off, the packaging is actually fire. Yo, wait, these actually look fire, right? Like, I mean, they look like normal sunglasses. Like, I could actually wear these. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Why do these actually look good? Like, I could probably wear these in public and no one would understand that these things are insane. The best part about these glasses is the fact that they are small and compact. So you can use these things literally anywhere. You can watch right here. If you really want to, you can watch it here. Hey. Maybe use them out here. Okay, actually, I, I don't like these. I guess the real point that I'm trying to make here is the possibility with these things are endless. But let me show you what is, in my opinion, the coolest feature about these things. As a content creator, my MacBook is absurdly important to me, and this is what I edit every single one of my videos on, but it slightly has one flaw. It only has one screen. But these glasses might have solved that problem for me. Okay, to explain it, Unreal Air recently released a beta for the MacBook. You pretty much just have to go on their website and download the software. And other than that, all you have to do is plug in your glasses and it'll automatically connect. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Wait, this is actually insane. I literally cannot wrap my mind around how this is even like possible. Wow. I don't know how well it's going to be able to show through a screen recording, but from my perspective, this is crystal clear. Like, these monitors all look amazing. Now, for me, as someone who is a video creator and I edit literally all the time, this is going to be insanely clutch. Because, for example, I can open up my Spotify. I have my Spotify over here on this left monitor. Then, for example, when I'm editing, I can have my files over here on two this monitor. And say I'm editing like a thumbnail or something. Let's just bring my Photoshop right here. Here we go. Literally everything is right in front of me. Spotify, editing software, files. Wow. This, I, I genuinely have no words other than this is just absolutely insane to me. Now, one of the cool features I do have to admit with the software is I'm not stuck to this exact layout of monitors. Personally, this is what works for me. But if you only need to say, for example, two monitors, after you click the button, you now only have the two monitors that you need. Or of course, you can also go down to one, but let's be honest, who's not gonna take advantage of having multiple screens? Anyways, there is a few more options. For example, the distance. I can make these monitors go further back. I can bring them closer. I can change the size to make them extremely big, almost like you're in a movie theater. Or I can make them really, really small if you want everything right in front of you. And for your side monitors on your left and the right, you can also change the angle where they can be all flat. You can make them curve in like a box. Wait, I wanna try something out real quick. Wait, can I put myself in like a box? I'm, I am now surrounded by monitors. Okay, this is really trippy. The point is though, the amount of technology that is packed into these glasses is uncomprehendable. If that's even a word. That's a word, right? That's a word, yeah. We're gonna go with that's a word. Another thing that I do really want to mention is that the monitors that these glasses create function like any normal external monitor, which is Perfect. Now, allegedly, these glasses also have surround sound capabilities. So we have a little test here pulled up just to truly give it a little shot. Wait, this is weird. My ears are tingling. Oh, oh, oh it's getting louder. Wait, this is so weird. Oh, I do not like the way she is talking in my ear. <laughs> this might actually be the best piece of technology that I've ever owned.
Okay, yes, I did indeed say earlier that it works with consoles, so I got a PS5. But along with the glasses, one of the adapters you can buy is this cute little guy right here. On one side you have a USB-C, on the other you have an HDMI cord. So if you connect the dots, you can figure out how to plug this all in. Wait, this is actually so good looking. Wait, oh my gosh. Now one thing I haven't really explained is the fact that these glasses are transparent and see-through. So like I've said previously, whenever I'm currently viewing these things, I can still see my entire setup behind me and it's almost like there is just a hologram floating in the air. But if you really want to lock yourself in and immerse yourself with whatever you're doing, they do come with this little shade protector right here which is like completely blackout. For the sake of really being able to take in the games that I'm about to play, okay now everything is blacked out and all I see is the screen. The audio that I'm hearing right now sounds absolutely perfect. I can hear all of the atmosphere around me. It quite literally feels like I'm just sitting in a movie theater right now looking at this massive screen. It's really hard for me to comprehend how this works, but it's truly amazing. The best part about the console compatibility for me is the fact that I can lay in bed and play games. Okay, okay, but let's just say that you don't have a MacBook for the glasses. The compatibility with a phone might be cooler than what you can do with the MacBook. Again, all you have to do is plug the glasses straight into the bottom of your phone. Now currently the main functionality is only available with Androids, but Unreal is kind enough to send me one of these boys out so I can show you guys what it can do. But they have been doing a bunch of updates for Apple, so I wouldn't be surprised if you can expect full functionality soon. Because keep in mind, everything I just showed you that's capable on the MacBook was in its beta form. That is brand new. Now for the phone, all you have to do is download the app off the Google Play Store. Once you open up the app, it'll do a little bit of a syncing, but then you are greeted with these two different options. But where everything gets crazy is the AR space. Whenever you're in this mode, you feel like you are in a whole different world. You are surrounded by so many different options all the way around you. Now the coolest part in my opinion is the fact that once, it fi once you finally get it to work, your phone becomes the remote. Somehow the glasses track where you're moving your phone, and I will say that the tracking is actually extremely accurate. Now for example, if you're just laying in bed and you want to pull up some YouTube, you can go ahead and watch your favorite YouTuber. But built into these glasses alone, you have different games, you can use Amazon. It's almost like a mini computer just slap on your face. The amount of possibilities and things that you can do with these glasses is absolutely insane. And you also have to keep in mind, these things are still being added with updates every single day. I am extremely excited to see how these things could turn out here in the future. That pretty much fully wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this one right here even better. But thank you guys so much for 70,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. It. I love you guys so very much and like always hope you have a great day